Hi, I'm Dean with Old English Outfitters, and today we're going to talk about the easiest way to load any detachable magazine. So this may seem like a really, really basic principle, and that's true it is, but we still have a lot of people that come in the store, and it's not that they don't know how to load a magazine, but the way that they do it, they struggle with hand strength or joint problems they've had in the past, or it just being generally inefficient. So while there are a few exceptions to detachable magazines, such as for a semi-automatic handgun for a rifle, this basic principle uh, is transferable to most platforms. This is going to make it a lot easier to load these magazines, especially down to the last portion where that spring is really fighting your thumb. Alright, so we're going to start off with just a very basic 9mm semi-automatic magazine. This one happens to be a Glock, but like I said, the principle of loading it is transferable to almost all other semi-automatic magazines. So we're going to start off by just loading the first round. This one's very easy because the spring is fully extended. So all we're going to do is put it in the back here, press down, and back with our thumb. There we have our first round loaded. Now from here we're going to be applying this principle. And that is using your off hand. So I'm right handed, the bullets are going to be in my right hand. Then I'm holding the magazine round forward in my left hand. So I take this here, turn it to the side, so that I'm curling it almost in a fist with the flat of the magazine against my knuckles. I take my thumb and I depress that round just a little bit. Just ever so slightly pushing that round down to take off some spring tension. Because this is the hardest part, is pushing with the other bullet. You're pushing two rounded surfaces against one another and that makes it very hard to apply pressure in one direction. So we're going to take off that spring tension and make it just a little easier on ourselves. Just pushing down and then start the other one with your opposite hand. And I know my fingers are getting in the way a little bit, but you're seeing the motion of my hands as well. We're taking this and depressing, just like that. You can see that bullet move. Take the other and load it in. And this just gets very monotonous when loading magazines, but it's gonna help you conserve your hand strength a lot if you're going to the range, because if you're like me, you like to shoot and practice a lot so you're good with your handgun platform. Now, even when you get to these last five rounds, you can feel it's getting harder as you go. That's because you are compacting that spring and it's fighting you even more with every round. So this will get more difficult, that's when it's even more important to relieve that spring tension. So I press down and load. And this is gonna take just that little bit more effort, like I said, with both hands. Getting down to our last two mags or last two bullets in the mag, these are gonna be the hardest ones. In our final round, we press down and in. There we have it. Next, we're going to show how I talked about this is a very transferable principle. So this is a 308 rifle magazine. Very different size, very different shape, very different bullet. But it operates just the same. You start with the rear of the round in the magazine and slide all of the way to the back. Then we grip flat against the knuckles, depress with our thumb, and feed that next round in. Rifle magazines aren't going to feel as tight as handgun mags, but that spring is still compacting, so the principle becomes even more important down towards the bottom of the magazine. But you're going to save a lot of hand strength at the range, especially if you're loading both types of magazine, rifle and pistol. It's very important to conserve the strength in your hands. Guys, we hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Dean with Old English Outfitters, and we'll see you next week.